Hello everyone, this is Kathleen and it's late afternoon here, but I want to just turn on the camera because I'm working hard on, well, several projects, again, that I have going, but one is um, I am going to do a collaboration with Kara Brandon's Creations here on YouTube and Dear Julie Julie. Together they are collaborating on a fall um, uh, just fun. Um, it's like a, a five day, five week <laughs> collaboration. And I have been one of the um, channels invited to join with them. And so I'm going to do it. It's um, going to take a lot, but I'm excited about it. And I'm going to end up with a journal because that's what I've decided to make. We, we could make just about anything, but um, I like making journals. And I, you know, this is the season for gratitude and thinking about gratitude journals or planners for the holidays. Anyway, I, I want to put things in my Etsy for that reason. And so, I'm going to make a journal and the digitals are gorgeous. There are five. Um, it's called a five day collab and, and there's, I just have them. All of the digitals are, are printed. I'll just show you the, the first one. And the reason why it's called a collab is that, uh, Julie and Kara have each made, um, digitals and then the challenge for those of us who are working with them is to combine them into projects. Um, so they created the digital separately and, and we're supposed to combine them. And that's, that's why I say I've made, um, I'm planning to make a journal, but they're just so pretty. And I'm going to make several different kinds of elements. That's going to be my personal challenge for each day. Um, and I need to get the cover and the signatures. I have the signatures chosen and um, trimmed and collated. They just need to be sewn in to a cover. And, and so that's what I, that's what I've managed to get to at this point today. And so some of you say that you like to see me collage. And so I'm going to do the cover collage and thought I would invite you along. But first we have to, to finish up the I am making um, my favorite cardboard cover and and so I'm just going to do a little bit of acrylic painting first of all. Oh, I've got to grab the glaze because glaze is going to, to help this spread. So this I'm using acrylic glazing liquid and I'm just going to mix it with um, some of this paint to kind of give me a base and let me see we'll use this to mix it and then and then I'm just going to um, do a little bit of just splash it on there and see what comes out you know that's kind of kind of the way we roll right sometimes so yeah I'm just gonna now you'll see that the glaze thins that and makes it more transparent. So then you, you know you've got some time to play around with it. Move it around and do some other kinds of things. So this was a cracker box and but it is no longer it is now a pretty journal cover once I get some paint just down then um, then I'm gonna come along and put some other colors on as well Then on the inside, I will probably do just my usual um, 
my usual dictionary page and then uh, do the spine on the inside with some fabric. Okay. All right. Now let me clean that up. And we'll give that just a little bit of a dry so that um, the next colors don't don't just um, blend in. We need it to be dry so that the other colors will stand on top of it. So um, you might want to speed me up because you know this is going to take a little while, and you've probably got things to do this evening or this morning, whenever you're. You happen to be watching this, so please just speed me up. We'll get through this. So the colors are really mostly brown and green. At least that's what stands out to me. And But I'm putting kind of a base of yellow on just to give it some depth behind, um, behind the brown. And the green so um, we're going to do um, some stenciling I can find my stencil now I think I must have put it away so hang on there we go here we go all right we're gonna just put some stenciling on here One of the things that happens when you use the, the acrylic glazing is it takes longer to dry, which is, you know, the point of using it because then you can um, move it around before it, it gets dried. But uh, then that's also a problem because then when you want to do the next step, then there you go, you've got got to have it dried and I am never very patient with drying all right I think that's going to give us some some depth there all right now the next color I think I want is this pretty green well, maybe we better do some brown as well. Do I want this brown? Yes. Looks like this is a new bottle. I don't want to take that plastic stuff off, so I will just dump a little bit out. All right. And we'll do some green as well. And, you know, if you end up not liking it, I mean, I, I came to terms some time ago, you know, with the understanding that mixed media stuff is random. But if, if it's, you know, a little too much on there or something, sometimes you can take a little bit off uh, with like a baby wipe or blend it in a little. Um... But I think what what I'm doing is just kind of making a background, so it's going to be okay once we get everything going on. It's it's going to be okay. I trust myself.
Oops. I know you're all just thinking, oh my gosh, this is interesting to watch just to see what kind of train wreck is coming, right? No. All right. I kind of like that contrast there, so I'm going to leave that. Now, um, I, have, I think we'll do just a bit of this um, dark green. This is going to get mostly covered up, so I'm not going to worry too much about that. Okay, now let me clean this. I'm going to do a little bit more of that stencil now on top of those layers. But let me get this wet paint off the desk. And then I think I would like to put a little bit of gold. So I'm going to get my gold. Paint. I have some distress, distress paint and um, some antique bronze. I think that's going to look really good. And I'm just going to sponge it on with this. So. Just gonna kind of go around the edge of over here because this is mostly gonna be covered. But the back will be able to see. And along here and along the spine. Okay, let me give that a little shot of heat. Maybe here my husband's moving around. He's probably waiting for his dinner. He's so good. Oh my gosh, I am so lucky. He's just willing to wait and he's willing to eat whatever I make. 
I am really lucky. Actually, I recognize that. I don't know if I mentioned he retired this last week. And, um, yeah, so that's kind of a adjustment for us. Okay, I think that's good. I'm going to call that good. And I might, you know, later, once I get the journal kind of down the road a ways, I may come back and do a little bit more. I don't know, but you can see the, the shiny on that bronze. Yeah, that's good. Actually, one more thing we could do before we leave the ink is um, I will definitely ink the edges and make them a little more weathered. All right, now on to the to the um, collage. I have my little collage pieces, and um, these are just some some images from uh, the kit that we have uh, to work with. And here's my matte gel, and I've got my paintbrush, so we can just start. And I have I like the Enchantment magazine, the old one. It's actually, no, this is September. Oh my gosh, I haven't read this yet. Hmm, too bad. Okay, here we go. I'm going to start with a piece of music. Um, in one of the digitals that Julie has, she has, um, I think it's called Woodland Music or something, uh, a little digital that's kind of fun. Um, and so that's kind of the other thing. I'm going to try to maybe do something, a little something with music. Okay, and oh, my other scraper is in the kitchen because I washed it and left it out there so it's a credit card for me. Okay now one of these stickers and there it's a vellum sticker and so hard to get the back off. Oh there we go. I think I got it. This is raw Kathleen. I'm serious. This is just how it rolls for me sometimes. Um, there's my little cleanup rag. There's another one. I usually have plenty sitting around. Okay, now the next thing. So I have my iPad over here um, and I have taken a picture of kind of how I arranged this so, so that I could do it kind of, you know, the way I had planned. my tippy toes. Because this is such an elaborate collage, I'm going to need to seal it when I'm finished. So that's why I'm using that medium from the beginning because Yep, I'm going to seal it. Okay, now here's another. I've got three of these. All, nope, four all together. And see if I can... There we 
go. Okay, and this is going to go right about here. I really love the way these are so transparent though. And so they really, I think, add, add to the collage really well. Okay, now I need to put this green thing down here at the bottom. So, now we have a little bit down now, and so I guess it doesn't matter so much if I slop. Okay, now we've got the little bird's eggs as well that we need down here, maybe about right there. And now it's time for the mushrooms. So this is one of Kara's digitals and it was a circle. And so I cut that, uh, I trimmed it, um, the JPEG, so that I had this as a JPEG. And then I dropped it into a document and then stretched it down so that it's an oval because I wanted an oval rather than a circle. Yeah, I think that's about where I wanted it. All right, now Oh, we have another, another one of these. This bottom is going to be hidden, so there we go. It doesn't matter if that gets bent. All right, this goes here. And then the next thing is this squirrel. It's going to be down here. Let me get up on my toes. Yes. I want it to be straight though. Good. And then let me get the paper on there and then we'll do that final sticker. label. 
and the final sticker, which is going to go like right there. All right. when you do that with your fingernail then it separates from the oh my fingers are so sticky now there we go oh I've got it got it I think I've got it I cut my fingernails this morning can you believe it I should have waited okay let me get up my tippy toes Okay, I'm committed now. All right. I like it. Yeah, I think that looks good. I'm sure that all the air bubbles are out of that. All right. Now we'll do a, a coat, but let me, let me clean this glue up. Just because that's bugging me. Just to give it a coat. I think I'll put the enchantment down again. And I'm not really going to, to coat over here yet because who knows, I may decide to do something else. Um, so I'm just going to do this part. I will do the spine though so that I can sew the signatures in. Okay, let me put this back on the. So, why do I use this plastic? I don't know if I've mentioned before, but. Once you take that seal that comes on, you know, on the top off, then it's, I think, vulnerable to drying out. So I just use that as kind of an extra barrier. And let me wrap this and put it aside and clean it. And let's see how this looks. You can't really see it yet because you know that the medium is covering it up but I like it I think I think it's turned out really well and the colors I think go well so it is not a train wreck at all and if you can imagine the button will be over here and I don't, I don't know if I'm just going to use a regular jeans button and a hair tie or if I'm going to do the whole elastic and beads. Probably I will do the whole elastic and beads. dry but yeah I like the way that's turned out hey thanks so much for spending time with me and I will go away and sew these signatures in and have them ready and then I will make my first video uh, next week and it will um, the the challenge starts on September 21st that's a Wednesday um, and there will be a hop so if you watch you know one of us then you can follow the links to the other collaborators and see what they are doing with the kit. So I sure hope that you'll plan on joining me. I'm going to be doing a bunch of other stuff 
in the meantime between these weekly uh, videos, but they will post uh, five weeks starting next Wednesday. Thanks for being with me. We'll see you again.